Good evening, everybody. We are Diane and Stephen Lavery. We're from Carrick Fergus, and we host a cell group uh, in our house, and we're delighted to do so. Um, when we were asked to give the, the talk this evening, we were, we were told that perhaps we should deliver it in a conversational style. Now, I immediately got confused because Diane and I are 38 years married and a conversation is between two people sharing opinions and ideas, but I'm 38 years married, so I no longer have an opinion or an idea of my own. <laughs> um, and that's what keeps us happily married, so I'm told. Uh, but um, Diane and I um, could also describe it as a mixed, blended marriage. Um, I'm cradle Catholic, as to say Diane isn't, um, but Diane's from the Presbyterian faith. And um, as I say, I'm married for 38 years, it's been a wonderful time, but there's always been like a little separation between us in regards to our faith. On Sunday morning, we wave goodbye and go, go our own ways, which has always been a point of sadness, and we've tried many different ways to bring it together. But when we first got encountered with the, the cell groups, um, I'm talking too much, I'll let Diane. Carry on. <laughs> we found a union, not only with ourselves and our own mm. faith, but with our neighbours, other people from other faiths, other churches. And Christ has been brought very firmly and permanently into our home. Mm -hmm. Um, so then I'm talking all the time. Um, <clears throat> the journey started for us really um, four years ago. <clears throat> well, we had obviously been in church for a long time before that. We've always had a very deep faith, both of us, and we would pray and read together our Bibles and things. But our daughter, who was um, 34 at the time, was very healthy, fit well, had three children. And one Friday night, she took quite bad, serious pains in her tummy. And by the next Saturday night, we sat at half 11 in the hospital, been told she wouldn't make it to the next morning. Um, there was no more the hospital could do. So at that point, both our families very much came together. Stephen's side, we're, we're praying rosaries and all different things. Um, on my side, we're praying and a, a great lot of praise music which really lifted the whole ICU unit, I think. Um, and God answered our prayers. It was just a complete and utter miracle. I'll not go into it now, but it was a miracle and we've shared it with our cell group. Um, and there's two things that are very important in our cell group. Um, faith with others. Um, as Mark 5, 19 says, go home to your family and tell them everything the Lord has done for you and how merciful he has been to you. Now we're very aware that there's people that haven't had the lucky outcome that we did have with Christina. We had a, our brother-in-law died very shortly after that of COVID before the vaccinations came in. So you know, we sat and prayed through that too with all our family and it was a sad time. But I think, you know, from Joe's point of view, he was glad Christina survived because his his daughter was older. Christina had very young children and they're very glad to have their mummy. Um, we also have an Oikos list. Mm -hmm. Do you maybe want to talk on that? Yeah. Um, just, just to add a little bit more to what Diane had said. <sighs> Throughout our hardship, we realized that we not only had the support of immediate family, but we had the support of our churches and our, our community, our household um, of faith brothers and sisters in Christ. And there were so many prayers going, going up. It's a terrible, terrible time. But what reassured for me was the, the strength that we could all gather Mm. from our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and in each other as there was a, a, a coalescence of faith across, the, across both communities, all communities that 
got to know Christina. But carrying on with what's important to us in, in the cell group, we also have uh, our OICOS list now joining the cells. I didn't know what OICOS <laughs> was. OICOS is a Greek word for household. And um, as Diane mentioned, both our, our daughters are married and have left the home. So Diane and I ended up rattling around in a largest house. But it's filled now every, every other Tuesday with uh, a household of uh, you know, brothers and sisters and believers in, in Jesus. And the, on this particular list, the Oculus list, we, we add names and initials and of people that we'd like to see come join us to come and see as well. Mm-hmm. And it's just amazing how you put an initial down on that little piece of paper and a couple of weeks later, hey presto, you know, they, they appear. It's, uh, it's beyond words. It's, uh, we just have to rely on the faith of Jesus to work in the hearts of all people. The cells are, have been a God sent to us. Mm-hmm. They the, have. And the you know, from my them. point of view, you know, I was brought up typical Northern Ireland where you know, I had never really been in a chapel. And now I go every Sunday with Stephen. I absolutely love it, you know. I still enjoy my own church too, but it is very much because of the cell groups that, you know, my faith has stepped forward. And, you know, I I completely know that Jesus loves absolutely each and every one of us, you know. And all you have to do is know he's there for you. I think we're talking too long. Mm -hmm. We could talk for hours, but uh, we're on the timetable here. But (laughs) thank you all very, very much for listening.